cool. This is probably um, my most excited episode of Crape and Round I've ever done. I'm in Kingston, Washington right now, and I'm at uh, Chien Le Crepe, which is the first creperie I ever ate at, and so I'm all going to lean into the cam out. I'm eating in a little small area right now, but um, I gotta say, I've been, I was really spoiled. Um, I don't even realize how good these crepes were. I mean, I, I know they were good because I ate them uh, for quite a while, but I'm, well, I'm in, in there, it's pretty cute. You can see they're really bitty, tiny right here. You can't eat inside because it's too small. And this is, uh, you see behind me, the ferry. Look at that. Um, people waiting in a line here. All the way back, it goes back about a mile. So you basically you walk up here and you get your food. They're great business. I mean, they're so slammed in here just because of how many people are, uh, are waiting for the ferry. That's when I first came here. Uh, the uh, the crepe is buckwheat, uh, salami, provolone, pine nut pesto. I substituted tomato. I actually said I didn't want any tomato, and then they offered to put spinach on. I'm really glad they did. Um, they they're really good at making crepes. So typically, I, I watch a lot of people pour out like lumpy batter spread it around them, kind of haphazardly cook it. Um, the, their crepe griddles are no joke. Um, from my, what I was told, the, the owner got the ones that I, I got at uh, Bainbridge uh, in, in France. He flew over to France, picked them up himself, and flew back. And they, they throw the batter down, they spread it out nice and thin, flipped it, it just kind of cooked off the moisture on the other side, and then flipped it back. And then the uncooked side is where they, they put all the ingredients in. It was... Um, they're they're really skilled at it. I was right watching them clean off the grill and everything. Uh, it's a it's a it's a really good it's a pretty good skill set to have. I mean, now just watching their hand eye coordination with it, and especially when there was like ten people packed up, moved through super quick. Ingredients are fresh. It was fresh spinach that's on here. Nothing was soggy about it. Um, yeah, I, I'm really excited. Uh, they, they did a great job cooking it. They were really fast and friendly. Um, I probably watched them kick out another 10 crepes even before I got into this uh, no drip uh, in the northwest uh, they don't really just call it coffee they refer to it as drip coffee they didn't have drip coffee so I got a uh, decaf uh, Americano and it was really fast and she was really messy while making it which was I kind of I kind of thought was charming and uh, yeah that's it man it shameless crepe if you're in the Washington area and you want to eat uh, go out of your way, grab a ferry, it's a really cute ferry ride, head over to Kingston, do it, Bainbridge Island, wherever you want, and go back. So, uh, all in all, 10 out of 10 experience. A lot of people uh, are, I eat crepes from after this are going to have a hard time impressing me. So, uh, Jim Le Crepe, Kingston, Bainbridge Island, you both are great. Until I see you again, do-do-do-do-do-do, crepe and around.